Hey guys, welcome back to new video. This is part 14 of the Acormis app playlist. In this video, we will design and set up the recycle reviews that we have inside the main category or the main fragment. So as you can see, we have one, two, three recycle reviews that we're gonna set up. And before anything, I want you to download the file from the description. When you download it, just extract it and you will get these two files I have some drawables that you need to add. It's actually one drawable, which is the favorite icon. And also we have two layouts or three layouts, sorry, for the recycle of use items. Let me show you those layouts real quick. I don't want to waste my time on designing them. So we first actually have the special RV item. Let me hide the emulator. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. We also have the best deals RV item, this one. And finally, we have this product RV item. As you can see, this is how it looks like. So make sure to download them and uh, just copy and paste them into the layout file and also paste the icon, the uh, favorite icon. So you're also gonna find this one in that file okay now let's actually go to the main fragment this one i'm gonna close all the tabs and let's actually design this uh fragment as you can see there are three recycle reviews and two text reviews the top recycle review is for the special products and this recycle review for the best deals of products and this recycle review is the best for the best products so let's start with the special products recycle review. Um, let me hide this, go to split mode, do like this. And first of all, let's actually have our progress bar. So let me just open the emulator again and close the app, open it again. Um, wait, as you can see, we have this progress bar. So we want to add that. Uh, so let's actually do it. This is a progress bar Grab content for both Visibility is uh, Let's give it visible. We will change that later and Just to demonstrate that now and now let's add the constraints. This will be in the middle of the fragment So everything is according to the parent Now let's change the color and we want to use the gray 700 and now for the first recycler view we want to have so recycler view width is 0 db height is wrap content gonna have margin from start 15 db margin from the top 10 db the orientation is horizontal or actually we don't need this one we can add it from the Kotlin code and now add the constraints start start parent and and parent top sorry top top parent and add the ID for this I'm gonna call it RV special products below of this recycle view there is a text view this is gonna be wrap content for both margin from the top 20 db and the font family is this one we also need to add the text best deals there is also the color this is gonna be black uh, text size 22 sp and finally the constraints as you can see now let's add an ID okay now we want to add the next recycle review for the best deals of products we can just copy this one and paste it down below 
and we can change first the ID so this is best deals um, we can also change the constraints so here the start start with the special product recycle review and we want to remove the top top constraint make it top bottom with this text view which is TV based deals and now delete this margin from the start and that's it for this recycle review now copy this text view because we need to add one more this one is for basic products so TV based products we are gonna add margin from the top 30 dB this time and the font family is the same um, text we want to change it to best products now we can just change the constraints and we want to have start to the start of this special product recycle review top with the bottom of this recycle review which is best deals product okay now finally the last recycle review we have so i'm gonna copy this one and paste it down below then we can edit on the id so this is for the best product i'm gonna remove the deals and now we're gonna add the margin from the start 15 db we also gonna change the constraints so i'm gonna just delete them and i'm gonna add them in here so the first constraint is with a parent and in parent top bottom with the best product text view so i'm gonna add an id okay we have an id already for that text view just gonna add it in here and finally we need to add a margin from the end of 15 db and add the over scroll mode and make it never and this means that we stop the internal uh, scrolling in this recycle view because we actually need to implement a nested scroll for this fragment let me show them later now as you can see when we scroll we actually scroll the whole fragment as one block that's why we need to wrap the whole design with an acid scroll. So in here, gonna add nested scroll, gonna take match parent for both, and we need to add this fill, uh, fill view uh, port, make it true. So this will make sure to cover the whole fragment. And then close this. Inside this one, we need to have a constraint layout. So constraint layout, match parent for both, close this and now the rest of the design that we designed below will be inside there so I'm gonna copy all of this cut it and put it in here and that's it as you can see now we can scroll the whole design as one block and we have the nested scroll behavior let's actually run the app to see that we can't actually see that because we don't have any products yet we can't actually scroll but let's see if every, if everything is good okay we don't actually have a preview so i think we have a problem in the view pager let's actually go to the main fragment to check that fragment home it's called home not man now in here we actually go to the view pager and as you can see we don't have the view pager doesn't have a space so as you can see it's it's collapsed now we want to extend this i think there's a problem with the constraints in here um so um this constraint actually bottom to the top and as you can see now the view pager has its own space let's run the app again okay as you can see here is the design and as i said we don't have a products yet we actually gonna start switching the products not in the next video but in the uh, video that comes after the next video because the next video i will uh, we will build a helper app that helps us to upload uh, upload products to our firebase wait for the next video is gonna be exciting when we finally gonna work with firebase cloud and firebase store and show you how that works together so thank you so much for watching hope you have a great day if you want to follow me 
if you want to follow me on my Instagram page, the link is in the description of this video and catch you in the next video.